it's very clear right now that um, the federal government, they have what they are gaining, they have what they are benefiting from terrorism, from uh, um, criminality in the country. One would think that um, as this Yoruba activist, Sunday Igboho, stood up for the community to defend the community and asked Fulani, not just Fulani, killer Fulani headsmen to evacuate, he will get full backing and full support. And um, all um, security agencies will work together and form a synergy and ensure that lives and properties are protected. But that is not the case. Reverse is the case. We know recently, um, Sunday Igboho, um, the Yoruba activist, um, visited a community in uh, um, Ogun State. And um, as a reprisal attack, um, Fulani headsmen stormed Ogun State um, community and killed. Um, um, two persons have been confirmed killed for missing. What is going on? Buhari is quiet. They are busy carrying um, APC registration. How does that concern um, the lives of Nigerians? You see personal interest all around. They are busy doing other things when there is an urgent need in the country. There is urgent need and urgent attention given to this um, Fulani um, crisis. It's, re it's really sad. It's a sad one. Anyway, my people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. We'll get more details as to what is going on in Ogun State um, right now. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. In what would appear a reprisal attack following the visit of acclaimed Yoruba activist Sunday Igboho to an Ogun community, suspected herdsmen on Thursday stormed Yewa North local government area of the state, hacking two people to death. Daily Independent gathered that the headsmen laid ambush in the community in the early hours of the day and attacked passers-by about 5 a.m. The duo of Isiaka, Apesim, and Ogutonsi Adebayo were murdered in cold blood in the process at the Owode K2 Ijon Tata Road. About four people, as at the time of filing this report, had been declared missing as their whereabouts was unknown. Yewa in Ogun West Senatorial District of Ogun State has been under attack by killer headsmen who laid siege to the communities in the district. A farmer identified as Dele Olowuni was four days ago butchered to death by suspected Fulani headsmen while asleep in his farm settlement at Oha Village in Meko, in Meko Afon local government area of Ogun State. Confirming the incident, a resident of the village who simply identified himself as Benga told journalists that two villagers were killed in the ambush by the headsmen. He said, Headers laid an ambush for people in my village, Owodu Ketu, around 5 a.m. Two cops of locals have been found. Headers laid an ambush for locals on Owode Ketu Ijon Tata Road around 5 a.m. today and killed two. Police from Egua have evacuated the cops. The lawmaker representing the constituency at the Ogun State House of Assembly, Haruna Egumbonho, while speaking with our correspondent, revealed that the killing was not unconnected with the visit of Sunday Igboho to the community last week. If our politicians are not gaining something from this, if it is not politics they are playing, then there is, there is no other explanation while this um, Fulani headsmen um, and uh, uh, um, their terrorism is still going on, these their criminal activities, is really sad. Right now, two lives have been lost again. This is not the first time. And this is um, a reprisal attack. We know that uh, um, the Yoruba activist Sunday Igboho started this in his own community in Oyo State. He gave the Fulani headsmen ultimatum to leave, evacuation notice. Prior to this time, we know that um, even in all those states, Rotimi Akere Dolo gave the ultimatum that um, Fulani headsmen should evacuate the forest reserves. They should leave. But uh, I don't know if uh, um, President Mohamed Buhari and uh, uh, the federal government, they are hearing all of these reports because, you know, they keep stating that Fulani uh, headsmen, they are, they are not... Um, uh, they are not uh, um, killers. They are peaceful people. How are these guys peaceful people? They've been killing. This is not the first time they've been committing all sorts of um, criminal activities. Recently, Governor Ganduje brought a, a new one in stating that um, the people carrying out these killings, that they are actually foreigners. 
even if they are foreigners? How did they come into the country? Who invited them? On whose invitation are they here? And whose bidding are they doing? Those are the questions to be asked. And um, for Ogun State Governor, it's really, really surprising because, you know, I started by saying that um, Niger our government, they've been silent about all of this. Now someone rose up, took the lead and decided to defend the community. All we expect that is that they should give him enough support, enough backing, follow this cause that, okay, yes, this is the position where we're at now, Fulani Hetzman needs to leave, and as a result, ensure that the community is secured. We know in the in the West, we've got Amoteku, and they empower these people very well, because the Fulani Hetzman, they are not carrying sticks, it's not just sticks they are carrying, they have weapons, they move about with weapons. Powerful weapons, you know. The other day in Edo State, you know, the, the Fulani headsmen that were apprehended with uh, um, AK 47, cutlass, machet, all sorts. That is what they move about with. And you can imagine farmers going to the farm. The farmers, they don't go to the farm with guns, they only go to farm with their cutlass to do their work. And these guys, they laid ambush, and that is the repressor attack they've just um, carried out now, killing innocent people. President Mohamed Buhari would dare say that, um, or even APC, they would dare say that they mean well for citizens. They don't mean well. They don't mean well. This is just the move of one person, one person standing up. Imagine if all the governors, they stand up in support that no to this Fulani headsman. Do they think that um, this will not end? It will definitely end. All of this we are seeing, this repressor attack is showing that um, Federal government, President Buhari, is not in support of this evacuation notice. Even though they are speaking here and there that, okay, fine, um, let, um, let all um, stakeholders, Mieti Ala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, let them meet. Let's recall that um, they met, you know, they had a meeting and they came to an agreement. Even after a meeting, they cannot even call their people to order. Is it that the, the Mieti Ala, they don't have contact with these Fulani headsmen? They know what they are doing. They've not called them to order and see we've been hearing series at, of attacks even after this notice have been given so something is wrong i to me i feel that um our governors they are playing loads of politics here ogun state governor what is going on under your watch fulani headsmen they are still terrorizing the community we have our motec it shows fully well that um, the the security agencies they are not empowered or maybe they've been given other directives that don't look for fulani headsmen do other things it's so sad this is the news that is just reaching us right now the headsmen they storm ogun community in repressor attack these guys believe that um, they, they, they have a lot of backing a lot of support because where are they getting this confidence from they've been told to evacuate they haven't left not just that they are remaining but they are still carrying out attack to confirm everything that uh, um, nigerians have been saying about them it's really sad anyway guys that's the news reaching us please let's hear your take down below in the comment section please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye for now and god bless